Hello, my beautiful Leos. We are here for your you versus them love reading. Your feelings versus their feelings. Leo, <clears throat> this is a beautiful spread of cards that I see in front of me. I have a lot of major arcana. We have the world, the chariot, the empress. We have the not well the star card the star card repeated really beautiful the overall energy in this reading is a spirit of place there's something about a special place the two of you share it may have been the place that you met it may have been the place that you fell in love but there's something about this time of year there's something about the place that each of you holds in one another's spirit literally heart space also we see the energy of the wizard of awareness oh i like this this is enlightenment this almost looks like a hermit card that is upright the wizard of awareness if we look here look at this we get the hermit card when it's upright but this person is not a hermit when they have this awareness and now it's reflected in the wizard of awareness I like it oh my gosh somebody was soul searching and they've come up with answers beautiful <clears throat> following the leader it's interesting because the leader here is actually these fairies beautiful energy the leader is spirit the leader is not a human here look at that okay now Leo let's look and see in the recent past your feelings versus your person's feelings. Now this is you on the left, this is them on the right. You really feel as though this is a relationship that you want. You have landed at your destination, you are happy. In the recent past, you feel as though this is a very beautiful relationship. You feel as though it's the last one you need in a lifetime. The world card is a culmination. This is a very best relationship. This is a very deepest love. This relationship is representative to you of everything that is feminine, that is loving, that is nurturing. <clears throat> Your person is feeling very much towards you that you are intriguing, that you are fascinating, that they see you as this enlightened being who's very self-sufficient. You look good, you smell good, you're popular, you're successful. So they really feel as though you're this very magical person on a very mundane level, Virgo energy and Aquarius energy. So we see your person just holding you in very high regard. They feel as though they think that in many ways, the way you are is like, sometimes they think, well, why would, why would Leo want me? I'm, you know, but look at this energy. They just see you, Leo, as the ultimate single person with whom to have relationship. Beautiful, intriguing. Your energy is that, Leo, you're moving forward. You're moving forward very swiftly. The chariot card says basically that you're very comfortable. You're very happy. Home is where the heart is. You are moving forward in this relationship at a very rapid pace. You have everything under control, your emotions, all your intellect. You have a plan and a destination that you would like to go to with this person in relationship. And it is all about having heart space and a home with this person. When we get the world card, I might add also, you may be, you may have a relationship with somebody from a different culture, a different place in the world, a different outlook or viewpoint, different religious viewpoints or a different ethnicity. Look at how your person feels. Nine of cups, the happiest card in the deck. And it is echoing or mirroring your energy as an outcome energy. So since this is your energy and it's down here, I like to pick up the mirror energy as I go. Nine of cups, nine of cups. You are one another's happy place. You love to be together. You like to show each other off to your friends. You like to have fun. You, you, it's, this is eat, drink, be merry. Life is short, enjoy it now. It is making love, it is being sweet, it is being kind, it's having laughter. It's everything that we cherish most in love. It's nine of cups. It is a 
relationship that you don't really understand, but somehow it brings you happiness. It's very Neptunian, very Piscean energy. You don't really understand why you're so happy when you're with this person or this person is so happy when they're with you, but it, you don't care. You don't care. The why does not matter. So when I look at the Empress card, you are all about creation. You want abundance, you are seeking creation, you feel that this is a person with whom you can build a life. The Empress card always attracts, she never goes out and works at anything. She is here doing her thing. She has a baby in a backpack, she has apples with which to make a luscious pie, you know, there's a harvest here. Is this apples or tomatoes? Could be tomatoes, I'm not sure which, but it won't matter. But this is all about your person really being invested in you and in the relationship. Or excuse me, you're invested in them and the relationship. Your person is looking into the future. They know that there's a crossroads that the two of you are, have come to, that it's time to make a decision, that they are being called upon to make a decision. The fork in the road is here. It's time to make a choice. Look at this, Ace of Wands. You are feeling so passionate about this person. You are really out there. This is fire sign energy. This makes all the sense in the world. You are very much passionate. You, this, this, this person represents everything that's sexy and beautiful. Virtually, very, you feel like you're burning up when you think about them too much. They put fire in your belly. They ignite your kundalini energy and when we look at how this person feels they're holding back leo your person's holding back four of pentacles they feel as though they have to be self-protective when we get the star energy and we have the star energy here this is your energy this is their energy once again we have repetition of emotion here this is hopes and dreams for love coming true. You both feel as though the other person is your wish fulfillment. This is a card of spirituality. It is a card of deep love. It's a card of mystical love. And it certainly is a card of, of love that really says, if I could just have my Leo, I would be fulfilled. And you're saying, if I could just have my person, I could be fulfilled, really gorgeous, just breathtaking. When we look at their energy compared to your energy, we see a person who is up on a mountain seeking answers and now they are no longer seeking answers because now we have the wizard upright. This person has a total awareness of who you are to them. They have taken time. This is a person, maybe a Virgo, who is very slow and very deliberate in their thought process. But now they are coming, they have come to the conclusion uh, at this time, literally any time before or after a few weeks from now, this person finally realizes why they cannot get you out of their heads, why they think about you all the time, but they are holding back. So let's see what this is, how that's going to go. We get the Queen of Discs. You are a person. This is the motherhood card. It's the wifey card. It's a Capricorn uh, card for uh, the Queen of Pentacles. This is a person who knows how to make a relationship work, um, putting in the work, doing what's necessary. And your person is now coming to the table with the Six of Pentacles. They want to give to you equally. You are more advanced there could be a bit of an age difference or experience difference between the two of you, Leo, because I do feel as though you're more advanced than your person is, but they are right there. They are right with you. When we look at what's hidden, the hidden energy is the five of wands. You're fearful that you have competition. You feel as though this person is holding back, maybe because they have other options. 
the Three of Wands, but I don't see that as being the case. Your person is seeing you as being their penultimate future. Look at how beautiful, you know, to them, you're exotic. She has an exotic bird. You know, this is how your person views you. You're very exotic. They see you as their wish fulfillment. The Three of Wands is a celebratory card. You know, we're gonna go surfing in Maui uh, by with the tiki torches on the tiki torches and the, a beautiful ocean in front of us so five of wands says that while you're feeling as though this person may have other love interests i'm not seeing it at all i'm seeing someone who's popular i'm seeing somebody who's fun leo i'm seeing someone who certainly has romantic uh value but they do not have eyes for anyone else. They just don't because we get the, the three of wands. They are fantasizing and thinking about the fact that you are their wish fulfillment. Their ships have come in and you are the ship, uh, the opportunity, the, the manifestation of their will and their desires. The three of discs, the three of coins, spirit is advising you to discuss this spirit is saying it's time to talk it's time to talk it's time to open up discussion about but what about what both of you would like to have your person is rushing in to tell you something look at that knight of swords energy your person has a lot to say to you leo nine of cups again you know nine of cups again look at this nine of cups this is the most amusing beautiful charming nine of cups i've ever seen in a deck they feel you feel as though they are your your person with whom you can have wish fulfillment you both feel the same way different cards different decks but that is the same energy and look at you you are madly in love with this person this is the only person that you love you are about to open up to this person or this person's about to open up to you, Leo. We're getting that this person is taking signs from the universe. And look at this, the ace, the, we have the star card yet again. Here's your version of the star card. You've known for a while that this person is sort of your rock star of companions and now they know it. That is your outcome. It's right here now. It's happening and unfolding as we speak, Leo. Let's look and see why they're holding back. Let's see what we have. What is the energy for why this person is holding back? Why is this person holding back, Leo? Why are they holding back? They're afraid of being hurt. And they're also afraid that you might have a lot of options. Well, you do. And, he, <laughs> and here's the strength card. This is your card, Leo. They feel as though they would be in the upright position. They're your equal. When it's upside down, they don't necessarily feel as though you're equal. So they do feel self-protective, but your outcome card says that they are there, right there in this relationship with you, Leo. This looks like a, just a very gorgeous, happy reading of a love developing into a long-term commitment. Sending you love and light from Chicago. Since I'm back in, tell me where you're from. Thanks.